It is 640 and it is National Bagel Day. That makes it a good day to, you know, get out and try different types of bagels or maybe revisit some of your old favorites. Cor Harlan is live at Spielman Bagels and Coffee this morning to show us how you can celebrate this breakfast favorite on this National Bagel Day. Cor? Isn't any day a great day for a bagel on a rainy, uh, cold, kind of northwest morning here. Any day is really a good bagel day, but today is the national day that they have chosen to celebrate bagel day. And as you mentioned, we're at Spielman's Coffee and Bagel at 22nd and Northeast Broadway, where they are ready for everybody to come in today. It's beginning at 7 o'clock. They open the, the, the doors this morning. And what goes, we're going to put uh, the classic bagel sandwich together with Jordan here in just a minute. But Kelsey, I want you to go over to where Carl is, stand in front of him right there, and put the finishing touch on that latte. Now, you're on live TV, so don't screw this up. This, this woman right here, has a real touch. And of course, this is what really goes with a uh, bagel there. There's a little cream in there, and you pour that on top there. And look at the little design you get in there. So not only, look at that. What is that? That's perfect. What is that? It's a, it's a what? It's a tulip. A tulip right on the top of the coffee cup there. So not only you get the coffee, you get a little art show in your coffee. Set that down here. Jordan, let's talk about, the, uh, you, you mentioned last hour that the everything bagel is probably the most popular thing going out the door, right? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. You know, when you can't decide what you want, you just get it all, right? I'm, I'm one of those people. No decision making to be done here. Tell me what we have in front of us here. On the menu, this says this is the Uncle Sal. Yes, this is the Uncle Sal. Most people know it as the classic lox bagel. Um, this was uh, perfected in uh, New York around the early 1900s, um, became known as the brunch bagel. Uh, so we have our classic sourdough bagel. All of our bagels here at, uh, at Spielman's are naturally leavened. They're all sourdough bagels, so they're good for your gut health, good for your digestive system. Very well, I'll tell you what, I don't need anything that's better for my gut. My gut does just fine on its own. Sit down there and go to work, yeah. and I'll have you talk a little bit while you're uh, working here. Yeah. Give me a little 30-second uh, history on Spielman's bagels. Yeah, so our founder, Rick Spielman, um, is an international political science professor. Um, back in the late 80s. Show Carl what you're doing there, all right. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm spreading this chive cream That's cheese. That's the schmear on there, right? There That's is. a little, what is that, a little, uh, what you got in there, a little yeah, so chives, chives in there? there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is my preferred spread to put on that lox bagel. Um, yeah, so Rick Spielman, um, he, uh, he got into the coffee industry in the late 80s, um, had a uh, couple coffee shops called Java Mama, mm -hmm. and then uh, he found a place on Division in 2011 and uh, named it uh, Spielman Bagels and Coffee. He had a customer who came in with a bagel recipe and uh, convinced them to start making sourdough bagels. So in the beginning, uh, coffee was kind of the, uh, the main star of the show. Bagels took over and it's been ever since. Go ahead and assemble that together because you got the schmear on there right now. So tomatoes. So we got about a minute to go here. Yeah. Look at the red onions. Yeah. You know what? I never liked red onions until my wife started putting red onions on stuff, but that is just the dynamite. And then you got uh, yeah, so capers. Got the capers here. Yeah. Look at that. You stick those capers into the cream cheese right there. Yeah. Loving that. Look Sticking at that. Along. Now those are going to give that a little pickly, a pickly kind of taste it to does. them. Pickly. It does. Yeah. Capers are just beautiful. And then last but not least, come on, right there. Yeah, we got your Nova Lox. Um, this is Oregon uh, cold smoked Lox. Um, it's classic on a bagel. Uh, Stack it up there, look at that. Uh, yeah. Now, let me tell you something, on National Bagel Day, you don't get much more National Bagel than that right there. No, the classic right bagels with lox, cut that baby up. Get it all, this is the best way to celebrate. And yeah, a lot, a lot of nostalgia. Anytime you've been to New York City, this is probably what you get at a, at a classic bagel cart. And you Give Carl a show of that. There you go. He, we've seen it. Oh, look at that. Come on, that's delicious. They open at 7 o'clock here this morning. Spielman's at 22nd and Northeast Broadway. There are a lot of places you can get bagels this morning. Go in there and make it your part of your routine this morning. Of course, bagels date back to the 1300s, the 1600s. Jenny and Ken, I told you last, uh, last hour, that uh, bagels were initially, back in the 1600s, I just read this morning, were given to women as gifts after childbirth. Hmm. So I, I suspect women need a lot of things after childbirth. I didn't know that bagels was one of them. They're not. But, but... apparently it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I expected more than bagels, but ba I love bagels, hey. not to knock bagels. They're good, <laughs> but hey, yeah. You had a kid, here's your bagel, now here's go along. Here's right? your bagel, yeah, no, with some schmear. <laughs> here's your bagel. Oh. Get along. Yeah.
No. Wow. Well, <laughs> thanks for that little yeah. piece of history there. Uh, we, we, we appreciate Always that. Always learning something. That's you right. You bet. Yeah. I'm here for history all week long. Is right. that what you're here for? Okay. All week long, and it's Friday. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Cor. Thanks, Cor. <laughs> uh, well, let's talk. Uh,